If you've used the array command before, which you probably have, then you know that once an array is completed, it has no idea it's an array, right? And if you need to change the number of items or the distance between the items after the fact, you're probably going to end up erasing the items and starting all over again. The new associative arrays in AutoCAD 2012 can easily be updated after the fact because they maintain their associativity long after you've completed the command. And as an added bonus, there's a new path array that allows you to array along an object such as a spline or a helix. Let's take a look. Let's start by taking a look at a path array. Now I want to array this tree along this path, this spline. So I'll use the new path array option and start off by selecting the tree. That's the object that I want to array. And then I'll select the spline as the path. You'll see it's very visual. You can see as I move my cursor, it's showing me what my array is going to look like. Now at the command line, you'll see that it's asking me to enter the number of the items along the path. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just say 30. Then it asks me for the distance between the items. In this case, I'm going to type in 5. And there I have my great looking path array. So selecting the arrow grip, you'll see it's easy for me to change the distance between the trees. Or I can select the array and I can make changes via the ribbon. Taking a look at the ribbon, you'll see all the information about my array. And I can easily make changes up here too. Let's change it to 20 trees with a distance of 10 between them. So this array was created using the measure option, meaning I told AutoCAD the number of items I wanted and the distance between the items. But you can also switch over to divide and get AutoCAD to do a little bit of the work for you. With divide, you tell it the total number of items that you want and AutoCAD will evenly disperse them along the path. I'm going to tell AutoCAD that I want it to switch over to 40 trees. And as I zoom out, you can see that AutoCAD has evenly placed 40 trees along my entire path. Moving over to the next column up in the ribbon, let's tell it we want to have three different rows of our trees. Another nice feature of these path arrays is that as you change the path, if I make changes to my spline, my trees are going to follow. And even though technically all of the trees, all of the objects are considered to be one array, I can still individually edit them. I'm going to go ahead and use my control key and select one of the trees and delete it. And I'll use my control key again, select a different tree and move it. If, if for some reason you wanted all of the trees to be independent objects again and not part of the array, you could do an explode. 